Well, we're with the main guy here. I mean, we should say, I suppose, that it's Parker Chisora. They're the main guys on this card, but we know that this fella's got some serious talent. It is Sniper the Boss, Lerone Richards. And uh, again, you're looking sharp in there, and you've got a real fight on your hands this weekend against Gongora. I do. It's a big test for me. Um, like I said before, it's a test moving forward. We're in British Commonwealth, European, IBO's the next step, and um, I can't wait. The run, you've fought some top opponents in your career, you know, you can rattle off a few Lennox Clark being one of them, seeing what he's gone on since. Um, is this the first fight where you've been underdog? Um, do you know what? I haven't With really the been, makers, of course. Yeah, um, I haven't really looked into it. I've been told, uh, but I haven't looked into it because at the end of the day, it's skill versus skill in there. And um, I believe I've got better skills than Carlos Congora, and um, I'm going to showcase that on Saturday night. That is what you are all about, really, is, is your, your skills. People have maybe said, Oh, has he got the power? I know we've mentioned this before to yeah. you. I know you're doing great things with Dave Colwell. We're yeah. going to grab Dave in a bit. Again, are you going to start surprising people? You know, I'm going to keep doing the Richards. Richards. Um, just keep doing what I'm doing. I know what I bring to the table. I know what power I have in these hands. Mm. And um, if I win by decision, I win by decision. If I win by stoppage, I win by stoppage. But um, I'll look good doing it regardless. I've said to you before, Lerone, I remember you once after a post-fight interview saying, let them walk through me. If I don't be hard enough, let them walk through me. So that, that sort of answers a lot of those questions. But as we mentioned, you know, the IBO, the IBO title now, you've got it. That's going to lead to bigger things, which a lot of people see as the top four. Canelo is moving up. A few of those belts become vacant. Is that, come, listen, you got a big fight on Saturday night. Yeah. You come through that. That's the aim next year. You know, I haven't looked past um, Carlos Gongora. But obviously when you win, you move on to bigger and better things. And if them titles are vacant or whatever, then I'll be first in line, I believe, after this win on Saturday night. You're also, yeah, you're an interesting character as well. We know about, I'm not even going to bring it up again. We did it last time about obviously the, the hot cross buns and all that kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah, but, yeah. but the work you do outside, I know that you're big for the community and everything else. I know you work with a, a guy that we both know, Steve yeah. Tigers, yes. and you, you try to put something back and help fighters on the way up and kids that maybe are looking for a chance by a sporting effects. And that's, that's important to you, isn't it? It is. And, you know, not always, like, obviously people use the avenue of boxing, you know, if like, if you're not doing anything, if you're, not, if you're, not, if you're up to no good, you're boxing. You know, but there's other things you can go, different routes you can go, and look, I'm more than happy to help anyone who's um, willing to do that. Fantastic. Lerone, finally for me, you tell us why the viewers should tune in and watch you Saturday night other than the skill set. Boxing's the sweet science, and I'm good at that. And not only that, look, like I always say, it's all about the skills, but you're going to see Lerone Richard with a little bit more spice. Nice, <laughs> nice. Before you go, because we've got to ask everyone, what's Christmas Day for you? Um, food, man. I love the food. <laughs> Food, oh yes, food. I should have asked you now, Sean, it's a bit unfair yeah. when you've got to make weight Not still. Not too but, much longer. But, but, all right, what's on the dinner table then? Come on, tell us. Um, chicken, oh, my mum puts rice down on the side, you know? Yeah, yeah. Rice, jerk chicken, um, oh my God. He's got the hands out. Yeah, 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 go on. Um, <laughs> I'm interested in this now. Um, pigs in blankets, was it? Is it yeah, yeah. Pigs, pigs in blankets. Oh my days. Potatoes, vegetables, rice and peas, jello fries, um, mutton. Oh, we, we'd be here all day, this man. Is this is a real, there. Yeah. It's a <laughs> there. Well, this is a real mix. That's like West Indian and African. Yeah. I know yes, you've got yeah. an Ghanaian background, but that, yeah. that's like I'm a half, real mix. Yeah, yeah. I'm half yeah. Ghanaian, yeah. half Jamaican. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, like, it's As all mixed. Yeah. Table suggests. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's fantastic. But we've got like the traditional yeah. Christmas dinner, and then on the other side, we've got like all the African and Caribbean food. I'm getting so good at that stuff. I forget yeah. the turkey yes. there. That's the yeah. other stuff. Yeah. Miles back. Yeah, well, I need to eat that myself. Well, anyway, we look forward to it on Saturday night. Wish you all the best, and massive value in this lad. Yeah, um, there you are. Yeah, it's going to win us a lot of money. <laughs>